Today, I would like to introduce you to a new member of the Somatic Controller family, the ET200SP Open Controller. This is the PC-based version of the S7-1500 in the compact design of an ET200SP. A closer look reveals that this central module runs a Windows operating system as well as the S7-1500 software controller, with the emphasis being on as well as. Because in contrast to previous architectures, a real-time kernel is no longer embedded in Windows. Instead, the hardware resources, like processor cores, memory, and also the interfaces, are directly and exclusively assigned to either the Windows side or the S7-1500 software controller by way of a so-called bare metal hypervisor. The end result, complete Windows independence of the software controller. In other words, any software updates would usually require a Windows restart. In previous architectures, the software controller would also have to be restarted, and your entire production is interrupted during that time. The new architecture of the Siemens software controller has the option of restarting Windows while the software controller continues to run. I will now demonstrate this using this demo assembly. Here I have the ET200SP open controller with the centrally connected ET200SP modules which are controlled by the S7-1500 software controller. WinCC Runtime Advanced runs as HMI on the Windows side and everything is output here on this multi-touch monitor, the IFP1500 via DVI. I can now even initiate a Windows restart via the HMI because we have created a module in Step 7 that allows us to manipulate Windows from within the control software. I have realized that here in my demo assembly as a multi-touch function with two-hand operation. I will now click the Enable button and then Windows restart. Windows will now shut down and we will see that the controller continues to run during the entire Windows reboot process. You will see a short flicker of the red LED here. This is not a control error. It shows that the Windows restart is written to the diagnostics cache of the software controller. That means that each restart is traceably stored in the diagnostics cache. We will now see the red LED lighting up. Windows will shut down completely and then reboot, while the controller continues to run. This means maximized system availability in PC-based automation, which is nothing short of a traditional PLC. This Windows independence offers another important advantage. In previous architectures, when you switched on the entire system, which means you also restarted the software controller, you had to boot Windows first, and only then would the software controller be started up, as it was running within this real-time core. In other words, the startup behavior was, depending on PC architecture and performance, very, very slow. In this new Siemens architecture, the boot behavior is that the software controller and Windows start up in parallel. That means, in terms of the open controller, controls will be operational after about 20 seconds, while Windows is still booting. That also means increased system availability. I would like to show you now how to manipulate the controller and access the controls directly. On the one hand, we have a Windows side application, which we can see here in this display. The display is the same as with the S7-1500 and offers the same functionality. This means you can configure the IP address, assign Profinet names, and also have access to diagnostics and alarm functions and much more. On the other hand, you have a run-stop switch integrated directly in the hardware of the open controller, with which you can stop the CPU and return it back to run. Another interesting feature is the integrated web server. It is ready for use without the need for any additional engineering and allows remote access to the controller. This complete demo assembly is connected to a Wi-Fi network, 
I am connected to that network via this iPad and logged on to the controller. The integrated web server offers the option to display and monitor the entire topology of your system or to access the diagnostics cache where, as we mentioned earlier, the Windows restart is logged. The integrated web server additionally offers an option to store user-defined pages. This means that you can store your user-defined web pages right here in the web browser for admin purposes. As you can see, the ET200SP Open Controller, in conjunction with the S7-1500 Software Controller, is not just a further development of previous architectures, it is a revolution in PC-based automation. On the one hand, you have the transparency of a Windows operating system, and on the other, there is a software controller with optimized system availability and complete Windows independence. Restarts or software updates no longer impact on your production, and you can increase your production output.